What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Uh, this day, Nick, Cole, and I took my boat out offshore looking for bluefin tuna. Uh, we had planned on making the run behind Catalina, but the weather forecast kind of kept us along the beach this day. Uh, unfortunately, we struck out on the bluefin, but we did find some kelp patties. Uh, we were checking those kelps as we were trolling for the bluefin and found one holding yellowtail. So this video, I'm going to take you guys underwater and show you guys uh, kind of what it looks like when you jump in on a kelp patty and you're spearing yellows and then also show you guys my favorite way to prepare Sounds yellowtail but uh, yeah stay tuned Update for you guys. We've been trolling all day. Obviously, conditions have kind of gone downhill. A little windy, a little choppy, a little gray. Very hard to spot kelp patties in a small boat, but we're still out here. Uh, we found one, slid up on it. Cole was throwing the surface iron, had a 10 pound yellow chase it up to the boat. So we're going to gear up and hop in and hopefully get a shot on this yellow tail because we would hate to get skunked. I don't even want to say that word. That's that's bad juju on the boat. But there's no. I know he freaking he charged you right when you jumped oh, in, huh? Dude, right when I came in, he went straight towards me and three feet away. Flash me. I know I saw you aiming as I was jumping in. I was like, oh, I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> it, it brought the fish in, honestly. Yeah, that was that was like that was major teamwork right there. We were trolling. I saw the birds. 
looked a little closer, saw that they're on a kelp patty. Um, Cole threw out the surface iron, that yellow charged the boat. Nick and I jumped in, and as I was about to jump in, I saw Nick already lining up for the shot. So I hopped in and he had already hit it, but I mean, we've been out here all, all day, so you can't pass up a shot like that. Uh, but that's a nice yellow, dude, probably 10, 12 pounder. First speared fish of the year for you? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we're in a zone where there's supposed to be uh, bluefin foamers, and obviously there's no, there's not any. We haven't seen any sign of tuna whatsoever. Tons of bait, lots of dolphin around. So, but the day's not over yet. We still have about 15 miles back to where we launched. So we're gonna keep trolling, keep looking around for kelp patties. I might keep the wetsuit on because I didn't bring a towel because I'm an idiot. But we'll see how it goes. Get out of here, bird. All right, here we are in the dark. Boats safe and sound. I don't know what that is driving over there. It sounds like a two stroke, but we're back online. Anyways, here's that yellowtail next shot. Our only fish of the day, but better than no fish. So we're gonna run through this one real quick, fillet it up. Bright dot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. It's obviously dark, so we're trying to split this fish up so Nick can take half home, I'll take the other half. Just a nice little head cut there. Keep the collars separate. But just gonna separate that there. And trace down, just like any other fish, just do a nice superficial cut right here. Very hard to do in the dark, so take your time. Obviously, I don't recommend doing this. Your fingers are at stake, so. All right, so now that I've separated that part there, I'm just gonna follow these bones down to the spine. Make sure I don't miss any of that, any of that flesh right there. I'm like bending over, <laughs> looking in there, pretending I can see it, but I'm strictly going by feel right now. There we go. That's better, thanks Nick. <laughs> Not bad though, in the dark, look at that. Meet in the middle. Things are solid, dude. Dude, this thing got cold quick. <clears throat> yeah. Still got ice in the belly. Oh, yeah. Cooled that thing down nice and fast. So now I've reached that spine on the bottom portion as well. Make sure not to stab yourself on the other side. Right there, that's the knife hitting those rib bones. So that you can kind of, since Nick's already gutted it, I'm not worried about poking it through and spilling the guts into any of that fish that we're gonna eat. So go ahead and poke through there. Just kind of work that knife up over those. What is that, the vertebrae? <laughs> the spine? Yeah. The spine bumps? Kind of walk that knife over. It should pop that off. Oh. It's 
probably why I didn't separate that. Let's see how we did in the dark. Hey. Not so bad. There we so go. Good, dude. Nice. Here's some ice for you. You want to take that home with you? Nick? With these longer fillets, the way I've found that's easier to skin it than doing it all at once is just kind of find the edge of the table and then portion it out. So towards the tail, obviously this is probably going to end up being fish taco stuff right here, so probably about there. I don't cut through the skin, just to the skin, turn the knife, just like that, that stuff, that one goes in the fish taco pile. <laughs> Same thing here, so we got like one, two, right, three. Right about, right about there. To the skin, turn the blade. Just do this one right here. pieces that we'll make the sushi out of and then we have our fish taco stuff right there sweet we'll let Nick do the rest and we'll see you in the kitchen all right so we are in the kitchen now um, I'm gonna make this yellowtail for lunch um, I'm gonna show you guys how I like to make the sauce and my favorite way to prepare yellowtail it's super simple I just made my own spicy mayo with some sriracha chili sauce and mayonnaise I'm gonna add ponzu to that stir it up and then I'm gonna put that on top of the yellowtail, but we already have our rice made here. I did add some of this seasoning, to make it sushi rice. Obviously, we, you gotta have the soy sauce and wasabi there. Gonna add the sesame seeds afterwards, but we're gonna hit it with the propane torch. So we have the yellowtail, a couple of pieces right here, nice and cleaned up. I'm gonna cut those. We do have some. Jalapenos also to add on top, so let's get started. I'm just gonna cut this real thin just to put on top of the rice. That looks delicious. Again, we got this fish probably, I think it was two days ago. Had it wrapped in paper towels in the fridge, has not been frozen yet. I think it's extremely important to wrap the fish in paper towels, change those paper towels daily. You just get a much better product. Get a little piece. First yellow tail. It's almost all good there. But you know I like to eat it. Just as is? Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's more firm than, than tuna, huh? It's more firm. It's really good. It just tastes very fresh. It's because it is. <laughs> well, can I eat this one? Yeah. Oh, this is really good. We got plenty more over here. I'm gonna finish making the sauce here. Again, it's just, I just made some spicy mayo adding ponzu. Just wet your hands a little bit, get a little bit of rice on there. Rachel snagging fish behind the scenes here. Unbelievable. Sauce. 
bust out the torch. hitting the rice a little bit too so the rice is going to have a little crunch nice little crunch to it <laughs> how good does that smell it's so good it kind of smells like marshmallows <laughs> fish marshmallows yeah fish marshmallows it's the most important thing is to not burn yourself or your, your camera woman. <laughs> Don't get too close. <laughs> I'm trying to get the shot. Trying to get the shot. Burning your hand off. That's dedication right there. <laughs> this is way too fun also. <laughs> Might be part of the reason why. This is my favorite way to prepare yellowtail. Mm, which one should I do first? I don't know. You tell me. Ooh. I mean, I kind of want to go yep. from here up. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So we're going just the crispy. Is it hot? Yep, yeah, it's going to be a little warm, but. Okay, I'll take that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How good is that? <laughs> Dude, it's so good. I miss Yelltail so much. Oh, man. Mm. I've oh never gosh. done that before, I don't think. There's wasabi in there. Yeah, there's definitely wasabi up in this. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's that was delicious. delicious. Yeah. So now I'm going to try this one. Next one up. I'm not going to dip Just this the, one. Just uh, the spicy mayo. You're not dipping this one? No. Sorry. Spicy mayo ponzu. <laughs> I love spicy mayo, so it tastes so good. <laughs> Your face. What? I miss, I miss this so much. Oh my gosh. God, so good. It like still has that fresh um, fish taste, mm -hmm. even though you seared it a bit. They just got progressively better wow. <laughs> as we went along. And they're all delicious. This is it. Something about that jalapeno crunch. Mm -hmm. God, it's so good. You guys, if you haven't seen my other videos, and I think I actually made yellow tail like this with Victor when he was in town as well, but this is hands down my favorite way to prepare yellow tail. It's so good. It's it's such a firm fish. Rachel was saying it just tastes like fresh. Yeah. Um, and then you add that spicy mayo on there and then crisp it up. Obviously with the jalapeno, can't go wrong there. It's so freaking good. Um, looking forward to getting back out on the water. I know this trip was, obviously I edited a lot of it out, but we were out there trolling all day looking for those bluefin. So stoked to have stumbled on that kelp patty that had this yellow tail on it. And Nick put that great holding shot on him right away. Um, I knew that fish wasn't coming off, but I was in the water in case there was another fish or in case he didn't have a great shot and I had to hit it again. But looking forward to more kelp patty fishing this year. Hopefully the bluefin pop up close again and I get another shot at them this year. But if not, the fall is one of my favorite times to fish Catalina Island and San Clemente Island for yellowtail halibut. And of course we got lobster season coming up. So stay Can't tuned, wait. stay tuned, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next one.